Hey, what's up YouTube, Down the Fix It Man. As you can see, some thieves cut off our catalytic converter and they cut the downpipe here. And they cut our flange off of our exhaust pipe down here. And of course they just yanked out the oxygen sensor. So we've got a little bit of a project on our hands, thanks to them. Of course I'm not happy. My daughter drives this car. She went out to start it and it sounded like a Harley. And she uh, came in and told me, I knew right away that's what had happened. So if you've got insurance, full coverage, you know, you can file a claim and go about it that way. In our case, we don't, so it's on us. And uh, it's a pain and it's expensive. So nothing we can do, but just get to it. Uh, the other oxygen sensor here is still in. We're just gonna start by taking that one out, taking off the rest of this pipe here and putting on the replacement. And I've got this oxygen sensor socket here. Sometimes you can use a box end wrench, but because of this flange here, you just need this you really need this oxygen sensor socket tool. We're just gonna loosen this. Just break that loose. And this is also clipped in right here up above. Let's see if I can show you. See where this is clipped in? In order to not twist that wire up too much, I'm just gonna take it out of that little clip and then we'll just unthread it. Just don't want to twist these wires too much, but I think we should be able to do this without disconnecting it. There we go. Just let that hang down out of the way. Not a bad idea to spray these with some PB blaster or some sort of penetrating oil to get those to loosen up. These two right here on either side, those are a 12 millimeter. The gasket looks like it's staying up there and I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, here's our new pipe. Kind of line it up. You can see here the little hanger. You do need to just pop that in. See if I can do that before bolting this on so that I don't have to take this hanger off. So right here, I'm just trying to push this little hanger through the rubber piece. See right here, this little metal hanger, you just kind of feed it through that rubber piece. And it looks like it's lining up okay. We're just gonna put these bolts right back through where they were. Get those started by hand and then we'll zip them down. Uh, this oxygen sensor looks not great, but I didn't have any codes prior to this happening. So I am just gonna put it back in for now. I like to spin it the reverse direction to kind of pre spin those cables and we're just gonna put it right into the new pipe here. I uh, don't need to get real, real tight with that, but just make sure it's snug. And the wires look good. I'm gonna just tuck them back up into this clip up here. But there's like a little shield around the, uh, the oxygen sensor wiring. It's like a little rubber shield and it fits right in there. That looks good. Pipes now in place, and we've still got some wiggle room here. We can line up the new catalytic converter. All right, so the catalytic converter is all bolted up. This front pipe, and we still need to do our oxygen sensor. See, there's a little plug in here. And you can see we're still gonna be a little short. This is the uh, just the universal flange that I bought, and it's got a gasket. You can see it does line up pretty well with this converter, and we'll get that, get that in. But we're still gonna be, oh, several inches short. I might just sleeve and clamp that, or I might weld it. I'll, I'll see what I can find for parts and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, right now, I'm gonna change out the oxygen sensor. Here's the downstream sensor that I got, a Denso 2344797. Amazon said was the right one. Looks like it is. And I am gonna thread this in first. So we don't tangle this cord up. I'll maybe grab a couple zip ties with these little hair. There's probably some, some original plastic clips there, but 
And over on this side, yeah, it looks like this clip here holds this part up. Well, right now I'm just gonna get the old one out. There we go. Let's go up in the uh, passenger side behind the front passenger seat and get to that and see if we can uh, push this other connector through once we get this one out. Well, first let's slide the front passenger seat all the way forward. We just gotta pull this carpet back. Looks like there's a little loop here that was maybe holding on. But here's our, here's our oxygen sensor connector. All right, so this, this black one, this is our oxygen sensor connector. You can see where they just ripped it out. So if we can push that tab in, hopefully pop this off. May have to get a screwdriver to help me. There, you can hear it click. Oh, there we go. There it is. So this one here, just pull this up. And there's the old one. Just gonna pull it all the way through. You can see the way that this rubber plug is designed. It's designed to push down into the floor. So you, you, you'll need to feed it up and then push it down through to make the connection. I'll go back down underneath and push that up through. I'm gonna turn this around this way. I'm going to push this plug in here first. I think we got it. All right, that's it. And then just need to push this connector over here. And get it lined up. And it clips into place. You see it right there? I'm just going to push the carpet back down over it. Here's this little shield or guard. And like I said, there's probably some sort of a Honda fastener here. Sorry about the noise, the neighbors mowing the lawn. I'm just gonna use zip ties here. And then this little white thing, I just shoved it underneath there. And then you saw the connection behind the front seat on the passenger side. So I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do here with this pipe. I'm gonna see what I can find. There, there's several connectors and maybe do like a, a sleeve or a, may, I might even just clamp it. We'll see what I can find at the uh, auto parts store. All right, now we're back. We've got a few little sleeves here. These are pretty inexpensive at O'Reilly. They have them about five bucks each. I just got a two inch inside sleeve and then a two inch reducer to go on the end here. And I'm hoping that that's enough along with this piece right here. So I'm just gonna put that on and then I am just gonna weld it in place. I don't know if I'll be able to get all the way around, but we'll at least get that tacked in place and hopefully keep it quiet. Now, if you don't have a welder, of course you can use some clamps. They sell lots of clamps at the auto parts stores, in this case, O'Reilly. Let's just get this set up here. Got our gasket and it's gonna go like this and then this one like that. And then hopefully this will fit on that pipe. Yep, there we go. And we've got enough extension, I think, here to get that lined up. Well, we've got some wiggle room, I think, with this pipe here, too. We can just get these started. I think that'll work. gonna get the welder turned on clamp this and then just hit it here here and here probably just tack it first and then I'll just try to get around there not the best welder here but I think that'll work I just don't want to risk uh, getting anything on the camera so I'm gonna stop this for now and then I'll bring it back down when I'm done Again, if you don't have a welder or if you're a, a terrible welder like me, you might as well just clamp it, but at least this will hold. So let me go around and weld the other side and then uh, 
we'll wrap this up. Now, if this happened to you, I'm sorry. I know this hurts people. This, uh, this stung a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty upset when this happened. I was pretty mad and wanted to try to catch these guys and hopefully they'll get what they have coming to them at some point in life. But at this point, at least we're back together and we can get this vehicle back on the road. Hopefully this video is helpful if this happened to you and, and you can put things back together as well and get back on the road. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up some of these same parts as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.